Hi, Stacy Griffin here and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd shoot a quick video. My girls are enjoying some corn on the cob. They absolutely love it. They go crazy for corn on the cob. So because it's not in season right now, if you will, I will buy frozen corn. Uh, Walmart has great deals and um, just keep a couple in the fridge, put the rest in the freezer, or keep the rest in the freezer and then defrost them and or take them out of the fridge and give them to the girls to enjoy as a special treat. This one in particular, my golden child, Goldie, who lays the biggest eggs ever, especially goes crazy for him. She comes running in the house. So, and that one they've already devoured. So another point I wanted to make is that because we're all on lockdown, stay home, stay healthy, I have been noticing that there's no squirrels coming up on my fences and my trees. They come running down the fence line. And because all my neighbors are home and we're all on lockdown, I've been able to keep the chicken door open so that they can go in and out. I know at the, at the end of the day when I go to open the door or if I have to leave and go to work, I'm a, I'm a realtor if anybody didn't know that, um, I have to put them back in here and um, they come running to do so because there's where their food is and their treats and their roost and, you know, their comfy zone. Do they love running? I'm sure. But they want to go in, into their house. It's their house. So I'm just loving that they're enjoying being able to run in and out because Squirrel City isn't coming here to take all their food. I've got, um, if you can see it, there's water, the green ones over there, there's water, there's food in that, the, both those cylinders. And then next to that is their oyster shells and grit. Hi, baby. And then over here, I've got a troughed one and more water. So they have plenty of access to anything they need all the time. And then this is just a treat that they just peck at. So look at how cute they're loving it. They're loving being able to come in and out during the day instead of being locked out all day or locked in. I think it's adorable. They're such good chickens. And finally, Ava, my golden laced Wyandotte, the black girl here that's so pretty in the sunshine with all her coloring, she's finally out of molt. She has given me an egg the last two days in a row. They're so beautiful too. They're not quite brown and they're not quite tan and they're almost on the rose side. They're very beautiful. So it's a, uh, it's sunny and a beautiful, beautiful day. Sucks we're all in quarantine as I like to call it, but hey, we got to take care of our country. I've been doing a lot in the garden, greenhouse, I mean. So it's about time for them strawberries to come out. I've been uh, replanting them. Strawberry, strawberry, you can see there's a bunch. About time for them to come out. The grass has grown back from when the chicken outside run used to be here. So the grass is pretty tall now. I think I'm gonna be able to take this away. And I'm thinking over in that gravel area there, I'm gonna put it over there and then I'll be able to put the strawberries inside that. Cause before I had the strawberries over here on the concrete, but I think I'm gonna put up the pool there this year. So I'm thinking that's a great option over here. Lots of sun, beautiful for the berries to grow. Keep them away from the chickens till I wanna feed them some. If they start jumping it, I'm gonna put some of my wire around the top side to make it a little taller. But yeah, I'm really happy that grass has grown back. I think it's time. So, yay. So just a quick update of what's happening over here in Urban Chicken Mama's backyard. Look at that butt, so cute. Goldie, you're so cute. Is that Lucy or, nope, that's Ginger. So cute, you're a beautiful girl. Yes. Mm. Oh, I can hear the dogs, they went out. Okay, make it a great day and thanks again for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already.